Later in 2024, finally after 16 years, the Middle East's largest airline, Emirates, welcomes the Airbus A350-900 into its fold. This aircraft, highly regarded in the aviation world, marks more than just a routine addition. It signifies a major shift for an airline historically known for its strong preference for Boeing. But why did Emirates opt for Airbus instead of continuing to wait for Boeing? What does this reveal about their strategy, and how will it affect their future operations? Let's explore. Emirates' long-standing relationship with Boeing. While Emirates does have a significant number of Airbus A380s, its brand has historically been synonymous with Boeing, and specifically the Boeing 777. Emirates is the largest operator of the 777 in the world, with 133 planes in service, a staggering figure. When Boeing made the announcement that it was in the process of developing the upgraded 777X, Emirates jumped on it. As a significantly enhanced version of the 777, the new model promised to retain its high capacity while also becoming the natural successor to the Airbus A380. This aircraft was seen as the closest option to carrying on the legacy of the Super Jumbo, as no other aircraft could directly replace the iconic King of the Skies. If the 777X meets expectations upon delivery, Emirates is likely to place additional orders, just as it did with the A380. The importance of replacing the A380 cannot be overstated. As the 777X enters service, it will be one of the few large-capacity, fuel-efficient aircraft still in production. Emirates' commitment to this aircraft is unsurprising. It is an ideal choice for both fleet expansion and the replacement of older aircraft. More importantly, the 777X is the only viable replacement for the airline's aging 777 fleet, which is approaching retirement. By the 2040s, when Emirates phases out all A380s, possibly even sooner, its fleet size will shrink significantly. To maintain capacity on high-demand routes, a replacement will be essential. Unless a superior aircraft emerges in the market, the 777 remains Emirates' best option for meeting passenger demand while supporting its growth and operational goals. Why did Emirates choose the Airbus A350? If Emirates has such a strong preference for Boeing, why did it turn to the A350? On November 20, 2023, Emirates announced an order for 55 Boeing 777X and 35 Boeing 787 aircraft to replace its aging 777X fleet. This brought its total Boeing orders to an impressive 205 aircraft. However, of these 90 newly ordered planes, Boeing had only delivered five, with the remaining 85 still pending. Repeated delays in delivery have caused increasing frustration for the airline. Boeing currently estimates that deliveries will begin in 2026, but even that is uncertain. For an airline with ambitious expansion plans, this isn't just a minor inconvenience, it's a growing operational challenge. This is one of the key reasons Emirates turned to the Airbus A350, to mitigate the impact of Boeing's delays and secure a reliable solution. Emirates CEO Tim Clark even acknowledged the airline's frustration, emphasizing the urgent need for new aircraft. Instead of waiting indefinitely, Emirates devised a two-part strategy with its A350 order. The first 15 aircraft are configured for medium-haul routes of up to 12 hours, while the remaining 50 are tailored for ultra-long-haul flights of up to 16 hours. A bigger vision, expanding into new markets. Beyond addressing Boeing's delays, Emirates has a larger, more strategic objective. Over the next decade, it plans to add numerous new cities to Dubai's trade network, requiring the right aircraft to make these routes viable. While the A380 is impressive, it is too large for many destinations. Meanwhile, the airline's existing 777 fleet is aging, and the 777X remains out of reach due to production delays. This is where the A350 becomes an ideal solution. It is neither too big nor too small, offering exactly what Emirates needs. With a passenger capacity of 312 on short hauls and 298 on long hauls, the A350 offers Emirates much-needed flexibility. It can be used on shorter six-hour routes to cities such as Edinburgh or Mumbai, while also having the ability to extend its range to reach new markets previously inaccessible. A new category of routes. What makes Emirates' approach unique is that it is not using the A350 as a direct replacement for the A380 or the 777. Instead, it is carving out an entirely new category of routes. These are cities that don't have enough demand for an A380 but still require more capacity than smaller aircraft can provide. 
The interior design of the A350 continues with this approach. For the first time, Emirates will not feature a first class on these aircraft while increasing business class in the newly launched premium economy. This type of configuration finds a market that has demand for premium travel but doesn't justify ultralux experience for a first class. Others have suggested that the A350-1000 would be more suitable for Emirates plans. Nevertheless, the A350-900, which Emirates has already on order, is a strategic behemoth. It allows Emirates to penetrate markets it could not reach before because of aircraft constraints while also reducing pressure on both its existing and future fleets. The Strategic Significance of the A350 His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, Chairman and CEO of Emirates Airline and Group, emphasized that the A350 would allow Emirates to expand its network by offering greater range, efficiency, and operational flexibility. He highlighted that the aircraft aligns with Dubai's broader D33 economic strategy, which aims to transform the city into a leading global hub by enhancing connectivity and market reach. As Dubai prepares to launch its new mega airport at Dubai World Central, Emirates' diverse fleet will be able to operate out of both airports efficiently. The A350 will play a crucial role in supporting this dual hub strategy. Why did Emirates wait until now? If the A350 is such a perfect fit for Emirates, why did the airline wait until now to place an order? For years, the aviation industry favored large aircraft like the Airbus A380, but the landscape has changed dramatically. Boeing's prolonged delays with the 777 have reinforced a key reality. Efficiency is now the top priority. The Airbus A350XWB, with its advanced design, embodies this changing trend in the industry. High-profile carriers like Singapore Airlines and Qatar Airways have promptly included it in their fleets as part of a new normal transition that is happening in aviation. Emirates, with its history of operating large aircraft, could not afford to ignore this shift. The airline closely observed how competitors used the A350 to boost profitability and efficiency. In 2019, Emirates took a decisive step by ordering 50 A350-900s. In 2023, it reaffirmed its commitment by adding another 15, bringing the total order to 65. Could Emirates eventually shift even more toward Airbus? Could the delays with the 777X prompt the airline to reconsider its Boeing orders? Only time will tell. What do you think? Will Emirates keep things balanced between Boeing and Airbus? Or is this the start of something big? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and safe travels.